Hey guys, Tech Bravo here from the Global Shedquarters of Bravo Technologies. I uh, wanted to go over something real quick with you, uh, having to do with the Cohesion 3D Mini uh, laser upgrade install. Uh, this part is on the install instructions, uh, but I wanted to cover it again because it seems to come up a lot, uh, and that's the origin. Uh, when you're first setting up your machine, um, you go to Devices, let me move this over where you can see it, and uh, Let's just start from scratch. New device, Cohesion 3D Smoothie, because that's what comes on it. Serial USB, uh, we'll just call it that. It'll be 300 by 200. Next, if you'll notice, it's defaulted here to front left. Make sure that that stays on front left. Don't put it back here thinking this is home. Uh, technically, the rear left is home. That's where your end stops are. That is not the origin. Zero, zero is the origin, and zero, zero is front left. What happens is, when the machine homes, it sends a signal to the cohesion board that the position it's in right now is at 0, 0200. So um, then it calculates where your front is from there. So 0, 0 is front left. Front left is your origin. So make sure you do that, okay? If you've already um, set up your machine and you want to go back and change it instead of going and hitting devices and going through all that mess, Go up to edit, go to device settings, and your origin is right here. So if it's not clicked to front left, click it to front left. Okay? Now, also, uh, once you do that, we'll home it. Now here's an extra little tidbit. Um, if you want it to go back home after you complete a job, send it home with that button. Go back over to set finish position because it defaults to zero, zero and click set. So now when you're done with a job, instead of it coming up front left, it's gonna go rear left and actually home again. So that's a little little helper there. Now I'm gonna change this distance over here in the move panel to 10 millimeters per step, and I'm gonna go right, okay? I'm gonna move X in the positive direction. And your head should move accordingly. If it doesn't, if it bangs into the side, you've got your X connector for your stepper motor at the cohesion board flipped. You need to power down and go flip the connector at the X axis on the cohesion board. So you want to make sure that your head jogs correctly in the X axis and you want to make sure it moves forward and back correctly with the Y axis. Again, if this is inverted, that means you flipped a uh, motor connector. So you just need to power down, flip the connector around, and you're okay. And if you try to move X and it goes in the Y direction, you've actually got the connectors in the wrong ports. Uh, X and Y are actually switched. So using the move panel, you can diagnose your wiring without having to go back and look at those pictures that you were supposed to have taken, because it does say to do that in the documentation. Anyway, I hope that helps. Stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Like it. Share it. Um, Project Odin uh, is in the works. You might have seen that little trailer for that, the, the promo. Uh, I've got a laser tube coming. My local source uh, crapped the bed on me. Uh, so I've got a laser tube on order. When it comes in, we're going to tear Cyclops apart and rebuild him from scratch, going over things like grounding um, power supplies, uh, installing the cohesion board, all of that stuff. I'm going to video uh, everything that I can and document everything as well as I can and put together a comprehensive series of videos uh, on modifying, upgrading, troubleshooting, etc. on the K40. So stay tuned. Tech Bravo from the Shed Quarters. I'm out.